hi everybody welcome to the channel and to today's video now on this video i'm going to be discussing two possible mistakes that you might be making when you are trying to export your footage primarily using a video editor on a pc or mac okay now plenty of us spend absolutely loads of money on drones and cameras and we want all the performance that we are paying for okay so many times on social media, I actually see questions to do with, oh, you know, I've recorded some footage and it looks absolutely great on my phone, but when I actually export the footage onto another device, it looks horrible, all right? Now, I actually know why that is, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you through the two biggest mistakes that people are making when you buy these equipment and when you come to edit it, like I've said, in a video editor. So without further ado, let's crack onto that part of the video and I'll explain exactly what mistake you could be making. So the first mistake you are possibly making is down to your memory card choice. Now, different memory cards have different write and read speeds, okay? And that is all down to how fast the data can be transferred from your drone when it's recording onto the memory card for saving and storing, okay? Now, the issue is if you have a drone that can export in a much higher bit rate than what the card can receive, you are going to receive some lag, okay? Now, that is plain and simple. Now, manufacturers such as DJI, for example, do actually suggest recommended memory cards to go with their particular drones, ones that have a high enough write speed to be able to cope and get the best performance out of the footage that you are filming. Okay, so like I say, that is a really, really important step that you want to really think about when you are not just picking your equipment, but when you are coming to record it, you need to make sure that your write speed for your card matches the capabilities of your drone. Otherwise, you're not going to get that nice crisp footage. Now, that doesn't matter too much when you are using the inbuilt DJI Fly Up Editor, or this is the Insta360. And uh, yeah, obviously, when it's on the app, it's not too much because it doesn't basically output in much more than 1080p, especially on DJI Fly anyway. So now that's step one covered, let's get on to step number two. And that is all to do with the export settings on your video editing software. All right, now pretty much every aftermarket video editing software for the PC and Mac, when you open it up, when you go to actually export your video, there is a little known setting that many of you do not know which you need to change, okay? So let's flip to our screen now then. As you can see, this is our video editing screen and I use Wondershare Filmora. Now, I think that's a fantastic piece of kit and it's not too expensive either. So up in this corner here, we have our files that we are using to edit with. Down here, we have created our edit and put some music to it and we're all set to render the video. So what we're going to do is go to export and then create video. Now, as you can see there, our resolution is 4K, our frame rate is 30 frames per second, and our file size is 166 meg. Now, that file size is absolutely tiny, and this is why. So if we go into our settings, you can see the bit rate is set at uh, 10,000, okay? Now, realistically, the DJI Mini 2 outputs at a hundred thousand what the trouble is many people look at their video editor and don't change the, this bit rate here and that affects the quality of your video quite significantly and especially the smoothness so if we click to better that still doesn't change if we click to best you can see that goes up to 80,000 per second now the trouble is if we now click ok you can see our file size is 1,295. So that's near enough 10 times the amount than what it was before. However, it's still not quite enough. So let's close that down and I'll show you why. So if I click a random file that I'm using to edit, if I right click and go to properties, you can see the bit rate with which this video was recorded in is actually near enough, near enough 100,000 um, kilobytes per second or 100 megabits per second, which is what the DJI Mini 2 can output at. So what now we need to do is now we've got this information right here, okay, we need to adjust our video editing output to suit. So we're going to go to export, create video, and back into our settings, but instead of having that at 80,000, we're going to change it to 100,000. 
or 100, whichever one you are using, which is 1.6 gig. That is much, much bigger. And that's because it's got so much more detail Okay, now you imagine how poor a video quality it would have been if we'd have left it on 10,000. Now, just to show you that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play both clips back to back. Um, I'm not going to just, like I say, it's just a short clip. Ideally, you're going to watch this on a bigger screen and you'll really see the difference, especially when you're sort of panning, mo panning motion. You'll see that with the higher bitrate on the second video, I'll run the lower quality one first. On that second video, it's so much more smooth and the, you know, the water, um, it just flows nice. Whereas on the first one, it's quite choppy, no pun intended. So let's run those now and see if you can see the difference. So what do you think to that? The difference is absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, this came from experience because when I first started this channel and I was doing sort of cinematic footages using ships again, obviously, like I say, I was having the same issue that when I played it back on my 4K TV, I just literally wasn't getting the smooth panning and it seemed juddery until I figured out actually why. So I wanted to pass that information back onto you to hopefully give you better videos better picture quality, and of course, as I keep mentioning, get you the performance that you're paying for when you're buying this equipment. So hopefully you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget I've got a whole host of playlists on the Mini 2, the Mavic Mini, the Air 2S, and I'm actually going to do quite a few videos using this new Insta360 X2 um, because it's absolutely great for what I want to use it for. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Give it a big thumbs up and see you on the next one.